April weather ushers in soccer's day of the year. On to the Wembley turf march Arsenal and Liverpool, two sides rich in tradition, to do battle for the Magic Cup. The King, accompanied by the men who govern Britain's most popular sport, is there to meet them and wish them luck. Arsenal are first, Jimmy Logie, George Swindon and the hero of Highbury, Reg Lewis. Now it's Liverpool, Jimmy Payne, Ray Lambert. And then the preliminaries are over. The stage is set for the high spot of the year. Phil Taylor beats Joe Mercer to the toss and white-shorted Arsenal kick off, attacking the goal to your left. A greasy ball, intermittent rain, the open pitch, plus the tension of this big occasion. It all adds up against good football. Yet here are these 22 men playing soccer to delight the connoisseur. Inspired by skipper Joe Mercer, number six, Arsenal go all out for that first vital goal. Mercer is here, there and everywhere. It's his pass that sends Dennis Compton away, and from that shrewd move comes one of the highlights of the game. A slide rule touch of Arsenal juggling that finally ends with the ball going just wide. A Compton corner leads to Arsenal's first goal. This is how the cameras see the move that is to set Highbury alight. Mercer is the man behind it. His lob goes to little Jimmy Logie, who passes it through for Reg Lewis to wham it in. <laughs> and now it's Liverpool on the attack. Spion Cop is set a roaring as little center goes just wide of Stubbins' head. Arsenal's escape and one up face the second half, happy in the knowledge that is the first goal that counts in a match like this. The men of Anfield don't think so and throw everything up for it with Billy Little, that flying Scotsman, the spearhead of their attack. Little center looks like bringing the equalizer but Swindon is there first. A near thing that for Arsenal. Come Arsenal, their wing halves working like supermen. This time Dennis Compton is sent away, but goalie Sidlow is all ready. What a ding dong struggle this is. First one way, then the other. Liverpool there again with Bert Stubbins, number nine, first into the fray. Down comes the Arsenal's iron curtain, and another Anfield attack comes to naught. Mercer is at it again, and another goal is on the way. From Peter Goring to Cox, on to Lewis. And it's there! <laughs> Two down, Liverpool never give up trying. And no one works harder than Billy Little. His brilliant move leads to another corner. It looks like Anfield's last chance, as Payne's kick comes sailing in, and in the scramble that follows, the ball does everything but cross that goal line. And that's it. Another final is over, and the sporting world joins in Wembley's tribute to Joe Mercer and the men of Arsenal, winners of the coveted cup for the third time in 14 seasons. Much of the credit must go to that Highbury team spirit, which transformed 11 footballers into a side well worthy of soccer's highest honour. There are no prizes for guessing the happiest man in Britain this week. It's Joe Mercer, footballer of the year, and now cup holder for the year.